Let us begin the second part of this tutorial. Okay, first, you have to make um, a magic ring. So how do I do my magic ring? Grab this one. Okay, and then get this. Okay, so this is the magic ring now. So we have created a magic ring. Next step is um, make two chains. One, two. This will be considered as one double crochet. Now, because you have one double crochet, you will be adding 15 more because we need 16 double crochets here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I have here 16 double crochets, including the two chains that we did earlier. So just pull this one. Okay, and then slip, uh, slip stitch on the chain two. So the, we're done with the slip stitch. Next is two chains for the second round. And then yarn over, skip one chain, proceed to the next one double crochet three times two and three next is two chain I mean two chains and then on the same stitch where we did our three double crochets you will create another three double crochets Okay, next is two chains, skip one chain, and then single crochet once, chain two, and then skip one, and three double crochets again, two, three, chain two, Three double crochets on the same stitch. Chain two. Skip one. And then single crochet. Chain two. Skip one. Double crochet three times. Chain two. Repeat this pattern for four times. Okay, so next is slip stitch. Slip stitch on the slip stitch before. Okay, and then. single crochet on the space here this one okay single crochet there and then make two chains one two and then do the same thing again so three double crochets one, two, three, two chains, three double crochet on the same stitch, chain two, this time we're going to have single crochet on the space here, we have two spaces, so single crochet on the first space chain two on the second space is a single crochet and then chain two and then three double crochets
Okay, I will repeat it for the last time. Two chains. We have two spaces here. One single crochet on the first space. Two chains. One single crochet. And then another two. And then... Okay, so we're on the last space here. Single crochet, two chains, and then slip stitch on the first single crochet that you did. Yung nasa space po. Okay, so this is the second one. Okay, so this is what we're going to add on the side. Okay, so this time, ikakabit naman natin yung design sa gilid. Itong isa na ilagay ko na. So, ipapakita ko na lang sa inyo kung paano ilagay yung sa kabila. Ano, attaching the front and the back part of the shorts. Okay, so as you can see this, ito yung may tali. Dito sa side na to, dito tayo magkakabit ng una. Okay, so i-attach ko muna yung yarn. Okay, so, minsan, uh, ang ginagawa ko po para secured talaga yung yarn, hindi siya matanggal, tinatali ko po siya. Okay. So, dito, okay, insert the hook, and then, yarn over, okay, make two chains, and then, get your shorts, Ito po yung harap. Kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung extra space sa likod. Okay? So, dahil naikabit ko na yung dito sa side na to, dito naman sa kabila. So, para magawa yun, kunin ko tong kabilang side na to. Okay? So, ang, igag ang gagalawin lang natin dito ay yung first six double crochets. So, one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at hindi tayo dun mismo sa may butas ng double crochet dun tayo sa may gilid kinabit na yung yarn ok 2 chains and then kunin natin yung shorts kabit natin dito sa pinakagilid nya ok and do a single crochet after that, two chains, balik doon sa design, okay, single crochet again, and then two chains, tapos, doon sa pangalawa. Yung ano, kung mapapansin nyo, may dalawang, ito, ito kasi yung pinakaunang butas para sa double crochet dito tayo sa in between first double crochet and second double crochet yung napapagitnaan ng first and second double crochet ok next, nag single crochet na tayo next is 2 chains tapos itong space na to yan single crochet dyan 
and then another two chains one two and then go to the third one yung napapagitnaan ng second double crochet at third double crochet dun kayo maglalagay ng stitch okay next two chains dito na sa gitna tatlo kasi yung butas dyan gitna naman okay chain 2, puro chain 2 at saka single crochet lang ang gagawin okay, and then dito naman tayo sa in between in between 3 and 4 double crochet chain 2 proceed to the space here chain 2 again and then 4th, in between 4th and 5th chain 2 and then here in this corner okay, um, 2 chains and then dun sa dulo Okay na po. Pag naikabit na yan, punta kayo dito sa may gilid banda, tas mag single crochet lang kayo. Para siguradong secured yung yarn. Okay, and then, if you can see this, you'll make two single, ah, uh, two single crochets. One, two, and then one here in this corner, and then one, another one on top of these two double crochets, okay, and then two, two single crochets in this space, one here. Two here. Okay, and a single crochet in the double crochet. One, two. Okay, now we're at the corner. Ito para sa kabilang side naman. Single crochet naman. Okay, and then chain two. Okay, so I did two chains here. Sunod po dito ay kakabit naman natin sa side na to. So, pinakauna ang pagkakabitan natin ay yung butas in between the 5th and 6th chain, ah, uh, 6, 6 double crochet. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Dito tayo. In between po, ah, nasa gitna. Ayan. Pag naikabit na, single crochet, 2 chains naman. And then go back to the corner. Uh, two chains. And then single crochet in the fourth and fifth. In between fourth and fifth. Two chains again. Dito sa gitna to. Ay mag single crochet tayo. Two chains. And then next is in between third and fourth double crochet ayan and then two chains and then dito na tayo sa gitna yung gitna na yan one, two now in between two, uh, second and third double crochet naman po okay, one, two and then dito tayo sa space na to 1, 2 and then in between the first and second double crochet 1, 2 and then dito sa corner na yan 1, 2 at dito sa dulo sa pinaka dulo
Okay, and then connect here at the last chain. And then, ayan po, balik tayo ng isang dub, uh, single crochet dito, just to secure. And then, diretsohin na natin to, single crochet. So, dito sa space na to, two single crochet. One, two. Dito naman sa corner na to, ay one. And then, dun sa dalawang natitirang double crochet, ay one single crochet. Tig isa. And then, another space, two single crochets. And then, there's another space here. Ito. One lang yan. And then, dalawa dito sa space na to. Okay. And then, skip nyo na yung isang double crochet. Kasi, lalapad kasi dito sa baba. So, yun na lang yung natitirang dalawa tig isang single crochet sila okay at dito sa corner isa rin and two single crochets and then slip stitch Ayan. So, okay na yung ating gilid. Okay. So, tapos na natin is slip stitch. Ang gagawin na po natin is ikukonect na natin tong dalawang part na to. Front and back part. And then, gagawa tayo ng design dito sa bottom part ng shorts. So, ang unang gagawin ay make four chains. 4 chains kasi yung dalawa is considered as 1 double crochet and the other 2 is for the space. Okay? So, ito yung pinakaunang pinag, um, pinakaunang chain natin or double crochet. So, skip 2 1, 2 on the 3rd double crochet we make 1 double crochet. Okay, 1, 2 again, chains and then skip one, uh, skip two double crochet, so one, two and the third one is double crochet one, two, skip two, and then double crochet, one, two skip two double crochets one, two skip two double crochets ang importante, meron po kayong lima na double crochet para dito sa gitnang to Kasi siya yung mag-separate dun sa, uh, para sa legs. Okay, so ang ginawa ko dito ay skip one lang. Compared, uh, skip one, tapos chain one lang din. Dapat magkakaroon tayo ng five double crochets sa gitna. Yung tatlong, uh, itong tatlong to na napapagitnaan, yan yung may increase yung tatlong double crochet na magkakadikit so lalagyan lang natin sila ng tig isang double crochet tapos sa tabi nila magdadagdag tayo ng tig isa sa magkabilang gilid kaya naging lima so ang gagawin ay um, uh, make at least 10 to 12 um, rows of 5 double crochets pero depende sa inyo kung gaano karami ang gusto nyo ilagay Okay, naka 11 rows na po ako ng 5 double crochet. So, kailangan, pag ganito dapat ang punta ko para hindi na ako mag, um, mag cut ng yarn ko. O, since pag nilagyan ko to ng 12th row, dito na yung punta ng yarn, pwede ko nang i-slip stitch na lang yung pabalik. Na po, magda-double crochet pa rin ako sa my 12th row. So, this is my 12th row. Okay, 12th row. So, ito na siya. 
hindi na ako pwedeng mag-double crochet kasi magiging 13 na. Masyado nang maluwag sa may gitna. Okay, so dahil hanggang 13 lang yung gagamitin ko, uh, magi slip stitch na lang po ako papunta dito sa may kaliwa. Slip stitch na lang. So saan ko kukunin? Yung tatlong double crochet dito sa gitna, yung katabi nun, doon ako mag slip stitch. And then, ayan po. Nag-slip stitch ako ng limang beses. Kaya lang kasi, kailangan kong makapunta dito sa part na to. Okay. So, ang gagawin ko po ay slip stitch again in between the first and the second double crochet. Double row, ah, uh, second double crochet. So, slip stitch, chain 1, 2, and then skip 1, chain 1 lang pala kasi skip 1 lang yung ginawa ko kanina. Skip 1 lang dito eh. Pero kung 20 rows ang gagawin nyo, proceed sa 2 chains and 2 skips. Okay, so dito ay skip chain 1 lang. And then, skip 1. Para lang yun dito sa gilid na to, ha? Okay. Next is, balik na tayo sa normal. 2 chains. And then, skip 2. Proceed to the third one. Okay. 2. Skip the 2. Another 2 chains. So, you'll just do the same thing. Okay, I'm on the last stitch. So, mag slip stitch na ako dito. Para sa first round to. Okay, so another two chains plus two. And then, double crochet on top of the double crochet. Another two. Double crochet on top of the double crochet. So, just do this. Keep on doing this. Okay, so nandito na ako sa part nito. Ang gagawin nyo lang po ay double a uh, chain 2, tapos ganun lang ulit. No? Double crochet dun sa ano, in between nitong mga butas na to. Hindi kayo mismo dito sa butas na yan ng double crochet. Dito kayo sa pagitan nung, ito yung dalawang butas, di ba? Dito kayo sa gitna. Ano po? So, 2 chains and then double crochet in that space. 2 chains and then double crochet again. Here. Okay, so ito yung huli kong in-slip stitch. So, so far, meron na akong 2 rows of um, double crochet and two chains. Ang gagawin po natin dyan ay four rows na ganito. Okay? Just keep doing what you did on the first and the second row. And then, ganun din po dito sa kabilang to. Okay? So, mamaya babalik po ako para sa fifth row which is the last row kasi meron tayong limang row para dito. Okay po. Okay, so I'm done with the fourth row. One, two, three, four. So, lalagyan na natin ng fifth row. Okay? So, ang mangyayari, ito yung huling slip stitch ko. And then, dito sa space na to, ay single crochet. In the sec, uh, and then, um, double crochet five times in this space. One, two, Three, four, and five. Okay, and then on the next is single crochet. And then on the next space is five 
double crochet. So alternately lang. Single crochet and then 5 double crochet. Okay, so just do this until you reach the end part here. Okay. So as of this moment, ganito na yung itsura ng ating shorts. Okay. Five, uh, this one is 5 double crochet in 12 rows. And then this one is 4 rows plus 1 for the um, single crochet and 5 double crochet. Okay, so we will proceed now. You will do the same thing with what you did here. Dito naman po. Ang pinagkaiba lang natin, hindi nyo na kailangan gumawa nito. So, pag gumawa kayo ng double crochet, chain 2, skip 2, double crochet, hanggang dito, dito nyo na po siya i-coconnect. In between the first and second row. Okay, hindi nyo na kailangan gumawa pa ng isa at magdugtong dito. Ito na po yun. Dudugtungan nyo na lang ng katulad nito. Okay, so far, almost done na yung shorts natin. Itong, ito na yung itsura ng lower part. Ang kailangan na lang natin tapusin ay itong nasa gilid. Okay, so anong gagawin natin sa gilid? Maglalagay tayo ng 3 rows ng double, half double crochet, double crochet, and half double crochet. Okay? So, yung first row ay half double crochet, second row double crochet, and third row half double crochet. Okay. So, para simulan, tinali ko na po yung yarn ko dito sa pinakagilid. Okay? And I will make um, two chains or pwede ring one chain lang. And then, dito sa katabi niya ay two half double crochets dito sa space and then next space naman ay ito considered na siya three kasi counted na yung two chains na ginawa natin dito okay next is two chains naman i mean two double crochet half double crochets and then three half double crochets And next is two half double crochets. Three. Alternate po. So ganito lang po yan. Three, two, three, two, three, two. Three, two. Dito lang po tayo sa design na to, itong may spaces na yan, maglalagay ng alternate na counting. Okay, so ito na yung mga double crochets natin rows of double crochets ang gagawin lang dito ay tigda dalawang double crochet hanggang saan hanggang dito lang po diba ito yung last row ng double crochet last row of double crochet dito lang po tayo mag -e end ng 2 double crochets bakit po after ng 2 double crochets dito ay single crochet na dito. Skip natin tong row na to. Bakit? Kasi pag nilagyan natin ng 2 double crochets yan, pag nabuo yan, magaganito ang itsura niya. Pangit na siyang tignan. Half double crochet dito. Dito ay single crochet. Half double for the first line. Dito laging single crochet. Okay, so ito na yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na iiwan natin. Okay, so proceed tayo dito sa babang to at mag, mag -single, uh, single crochet tayo. Actually, itong pattern na to ay hindi 100% taken from the video uh, tutorial from PP Crochet-ish. I made some modifications here. Okay, let's see. Ayan. Wala siyang wala siyang ano, yung, yung parang 
nakaumbok dito kasi nag-skip na tayo dito. Okay lang kahit may konting butas, hindi na rin naman yan halata. Okay, and then continue. Gawin lang kung ano yung ginawa dito sa kabila. Okay, so natapos ko na yung first round which is half double crochet. Now we will make double crochet pero magkakaiba ang bilang. Okay, so nag-chain 2 ako. That's counted as 1 double crochet. And then, make another 1 double crochet. Chain 2. And then, skip 2. 1, 2. On the third is double crochet. So, we will make 4 double, crochet, uh, double crochets. Okay. Again, we made two chains, which is considered as one double, uh, one double crochet, and then another one double crochet. Skip two, chain two, four double crochets, and then chain two again. Chain two, skip two, another four. Four. Skip uh, chain two and then skip two. One two. Three. Four. Okay, chain two. Okay, so ito po ang itsura niya. Two double crochets. Four 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 and four. Meron tayong seven na butas. Okay? So, nandito na tayo sa single crochet. Itong isa single crochet natin, huwag dito sa pinaka dulo. Kasi kagaya ng sinabi ko, pag dito sa dulo, magkakaroon ng effect na nakaganon. Okay? So, i-adjust nyo na lang po kung hanggang saan pwede. Pwede naman kayong mag um, single crochet together. So, paano yun? One, two, Ayan. Next, single crochet. Let's see kung hindi siya ok. Ano? Naka... Niiwasan kasi natin magkaumbok. Okay, pwede. Okay, next ay maglalagay tayo. Estimation nyo na lang po ah. Maglalagay tayo ng space. mag skip tayo ng space dito sa may bandang gitna. Three chains. Skip two. One, two. And then single crochet. Tapos, single crochet together ulit tayo. And then, one, two, three, four. Okay, para saan yung butas na ginawa natin dito? Paglalagyan niya nung tali na gagawin natin para maging adjustable para hindi siya nakaganon so lalagyan din natin siya nung tali katulad ng nandito okay so yung ginawa dito ay gagawin lang din po dito okay so ito na po yung um, nagawa natin initially 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so kung ilan yung butas dito dapat ganun din dito sa kabila dapat magkapareho sila okay so now we're down to the last row which is half double crochet so ang gagawin lang po dito ay lalagyan nyo lang lahat ng um, mga spaces na to 
ng tiga dalawang double crochet, half double crochet rather. Ayan yung mga yan. Tapos, ito sa apat na double crochet, lalagyan nyo lang ng tigi isang half double crochet. So, parang pupunan nyo na lahat para kapag nilagyan natin ng tali, hindi naman siya nakaganito. So, para mas maganda yung quality niya. Okay, nandito na ako sa single crochets. Dito sa may butas, lagyan nyo lang po ng tatlong single crochets and then proceed. Uh, sa ngayon po, ito na yung magiging kalalabasan ng gilid niya. No, three rows po yan. Um, double, half double crochet, double crochet, ito, double crochet yan, and then, um, half double crochet. Okay, so dito, lalagyan natin siya nitong tali. Itong tali na to ay 200 chains. Ginamitan ko po ng 4 millimeter hook at double pull ng indofil yarn. Okay, para medyo makapal siya. Okay po. And then sa dulo, nilagyan ko siya ng tassel. Manipis lang kasi um, parang awkward tignan kapag sobrang kapal nung, nung tassel niya. May bilog ditong malaki, e eh, nasa gilid siya. Mabuti sana kung nasa gitna yung tassel, mas maganda siyang tignan. That's for me, no? yung um, opinion ko po. So ganito po siya. Isang dipa, 200, uh, 200 chains. Okay? So yung ginawa ko po dito sa gilid, eto yung 3 rows at saka ito ay yun din po ang gagawin dito sa gilid na to. Okay, so ipapakita ko po yung finished product after nito.